morning prayer on this Friday the 5th of June. Today we commemorate Boniface <laughs> of Crediton, known as the Apostle of Germany. Born in Crediton in Devon in about the year 675, Winfrith took the name Boniface when he entered a monastery in Exeter as a young man, becoming a Latin scholar and poet and was ordained when he was 30. Had a great influence on European history. In fact, it has been judged that he had as having a deep, deeper influence on European history than any other Englishman. He was murdered on this day in the year 754 while waiting as a bishop for some candidates to arrive for confirmation, murdered by a band of pagans. Boniface of Crediton. Let us pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, and be glad with him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, <clears throat> set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 144. Psalm 144. <clears throat> Happy are the people who have the Lord for their God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who teaches my hands for war and my fingers for the battle, my steadfast help and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues the people under me. O oh Lord, what are mortals that you should consider them, mere human beings that you should take them thought for them? They are like a breath of wind, their days pass away like a shadow. Bow your heavens, O oh Lord, and come down, touch the mountains and they shall smoke. Cast down your lightnings and scatter them. Shoot up your arrows and let thunder roar. Reach down your hand from on high. Deliver me. Take me out of the great waters from the hand of foreign enemies, whose mouth speaks wickedness, and their right hand is the hand of falsehood. O oh God, I will sing to you a new song. I'll play to you on a ten-stringed harp. You that gave salvation to kings and have delivered David, your servant. Save me from the peril of the sword and deliver me from the hand of my enemies, whose mouth speaks wickedness, whose right hand is the hand of falsehood. So that our sons are in their youth, may we may be like well-nurtured plants and our daughters like pillars carved for the corners of the temple. Our barns be filled with all manner of store, our flocks bearing thousands and ten thousands in our fields. Our cattle be heavy with young. May there be no miscarriage or untimely birth, no cry of distress in our streets. 
Happy are the people whose blessing this is. Happy are the people who have the Lord for their God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 5. At that time, the Lord said to Joshua, Make fixed knives and circumcise the Israelites a second time. So Joshua made flint knives and circumcised the Israelites at Gilbeath Haraloth. This is the reason why Joshua circumcised them all. The males of the people who came out of Egypt, all the warriors, had died during the journey through the wilderness after they had come out of Egypt. Although all the people who came out had been circumcised, yet all the people born on the journey through the wilderness after they'd come out of Egypt had not been circumcised. For the Israelites travelled for 40 years in the wilderness until all the nation, the warriors who came out of Egypt, perished, not having listened to the voice of the Lord. To them, the Lord swore that he would not let them see the land that he had sworn to their ancestors to give us, a land flowing with milk and honey. So it was their mm -hmm. children, whom he raised up in their place, that Joshua circumcised. For they were uncircumcised, because they had not been circumcised on the way. When the circumcising of all the nation was done, they remained in their places in the camp until they were healed. The Lord said to Joshua, Today I have rolled away from you the disgrace of e Egypt. And so that place is called Gilgal to this day. While the Israelites were encamped in Gilgal, they kept the Passover in the evening on the 14th day of the month in the plains of Jericho. On the day after the Passover, on that very day, they ate the produce of the land, unleavened cakes and parched grain. The manna ceased on the day they ate the produce of the land, and the Israelites no longer had manna. They ate the crops of the land of Canaan that year. Once, when Joshua was near Jericho, he looked up and saw a man standing before him with a drawn sword in his hand. Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you one of us or one of our adversaries? He replied, Neither, but as commander of the army of the Lord, <coughs> come. Mm. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped. And he said to him, What do you command your servant, my Lord? The commander of the army of the Lord said to Joshua, mm -hmm. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. Here ends the first reading. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. In your presence. Come, let us return to the Lord who has torn us and will heal us. God has stricken us and will bind up our wounds. After two days he will revive us, and on the third day he will raise us up that we may live in his presence. Let us strive to know the Lord. His appearing is as sure as the sunrise. He will come to us like the showers, like the spring rains that water the earth. O oh, Ephraim, how shall I deal with you? How shall I deal with you, O Judah? Your love for me is like the morning mist, like the dew that goes early away. Therefore, I have hewn them by the prophets, and my judgment goes forth as the light. For loyalty is my desire, and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God 
rather than burnt offerings. Glory to the Father, <clears throat> and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and shall be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. <clears throat> Our second reading is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 10. After this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the labourers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the labourer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick who are there, and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, go out into its streets and say, even the dust of your town that clings to our feet, we wipe off in protest against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you, on that day, it will be more tolerable for Sodom than for that town. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But at the judgment it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? No, you will be brought down to Hades. Whoever listens to you, <clears throat> listens to me. And whoever rejects you, rejects me. And whoever rejects me, rejects the one who sent me. Here ends the second reading. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sake be not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, 
for he will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you as your children. We ask that this day, we will walk through this day, being the people you made us to be, and doing what you give us to do today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our prayer. We think of our world, the pain and the anger around the world at a sense of injustice, of not being heard. And amidst all of the things, all of the passionate protests that are going on about racism, we pray, Lord, that what is really at the heart of what they're saying will truly be heard and listened to. That those with power to influence change may have open hearts, may have attitudes that see everyone equally. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As the story of Madeleine McCann's in the news, my heart goes out and we ask, Lord, for you to strengthen and support all people who have lost children or have, who have missing persons of whatever age in their lives and who don't know the outcome. Lord, give them, especially at this time, strength and comfort. We pray for all that may be revealed in the Madeleine McCann case, and especially peace and strength for her parents and her family, and all of those who love her and her family. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we continue to deal around the world with the coronavirus, mm. to care for the sick, mm. to do all that can be done to prevent its spread. Lord, we ask you to give strength and wisdom to all people concerned with caring, with researching, with returning to work safely. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. us. Yeah. As your children living in our parish, we thank you, Lord, for the heartwarming sense of people caring for each other and for the ongoing connections between neighbours and people who maybe didn't know each other before so well. All of the positive stories we hear around the country and around the world about people caring for each other in new ways. But also for the positive impact on the planet. Lord, may we continue to appreciate 
our planet in all that we do. Excuse me, Angie. Pat, do you think you should go and lie down? I'm a bit worried about you. Why don't you just go yeah. and lie down? Sorry, yeah. I couldn't. I've got my eyes closed and I couldn't see. I think That's you should right. do okay. Pat. Do, do Pat. Just go lie down, Pat. I'll, I'll ring you later. Okay. Sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just go lie down. Mm -hmm. yep. I apologise, everyone. Oh, and as we, as we are in your presence, Lord, asking for your help, we pray for your loving arms to surround Pat now. So be beside her. Thank you, Lord, for her, your child. And how much you love her and all of us. Mm -hmm. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. And as it's Friday and often we'd be saying the litany for reconciliation. Outside at St John's, uh, let's say together now. Oh, sorry, I can't share the screen. Never mind. I'll say it for us. I've got the prayer on my, on my computer. The litany of reconciliation. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. As we say this prayer, we remember God always willing to forgive, always waiting with open arms for all of his children who ask for forgiveness. And so we pray these prayers on behalf of ourselves and on behalf of our world. The hatred which divides nation from nation, race from race, class from class. Father, Father forgive. Okay. The covetous desires of people and nations to possess what is not their own. Father, Father forgive. forgive. The greed which exploits the work of human hands and lays waste the earth. Father, Father forgive. Father. Our envy of the welfare and happiness of others. Father, Father forgive. Father. Our indifference to the plight of the imprisoned, the homeless, the refugee. Father, Father forgive. Father. The lust which dishonours the bodies of men, women and children. Father, Father, forgive. The pride which leads us to trust in ourselves and not in God. Father, forgive. forgive. Be kind to one another, mm. tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Amen. Finally, in a moment of silence, we bring to you, Lord, those things that are especially on our mind at the moment. Thank you, Lord, that you know all of our needs. Amen. Amen. The special collect for today. God, our Redeemer, who called your servant Boniface to preach the gospel among the German people and to build up your church in holiness. Grant that we may preserve in our hearts the, that faith which he taught with his words and sealed with his blood and profess it <coughs> in hearts dedicated to your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our daily bread. 
forgive us, forgive us our sins. Sins. as we, we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom and the power and glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thank you to God. Amen.